So that's 1-0 to Arsenal. Thierry Henry has broken the deadlock, but... Uh, Let's go back to Villa Park, and Villa really should be one up, shouldn't they, Billy Mack? Hey, that's right. Bad miss from the uh, young lad on his debut. Simpson ball comes in totally unmarked, uh, four yards out, and he just clears it right over the bar. He really shouldn't be missing from that distance. Even you'd have scored from there, wouldn't you, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's right. I reckon even I would have got that, and yeah, I wouldn't have cleared the bar like that. No, that's right. You usually clear the bar with your singing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, the, the lad really should have scored. Well, there you have it, viewers, and that's from a man who knows about missing from four yards. <laughs> yeah. I, I did actually uh, did actually score over 200 goals in my career. Absolutely, you did score 200-plus goals, which, however you look at it, is one hell of an achievement. Thank you, David. Mind you, think how many you might have scored if you were sober. <laughs> 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 OK, let's go over to Stamford Bridge. <laughs> Still 2-0 to Arsenal, of course, at the Emirates Stadium. Meanwhile, in the lunchtime kickoff, Tottenham lost 1-0 at Liverpool, which means they continue to slide down the table. Someone I've often seen sliding down the table is Billy McNabb. <laughs> uh, so, Billy Mac, anything happening at Villa Park? Uh, no, Dave, sadly, nothing much happening at all, except for a terrible tackle by Hughes. Left his foot in... Uh, ref didn't spot it, but then, of course, refs never do, cos they don't know what's going on. They've never played football at professional level, so they've no idea what's happening. A bit like yourself, Dave. <laughs> Guilty as charged, I am but a humble pupil in the presence of teachers. Bells, Glenn Fiddick and all the other boppers you bring in every Saturday. <laughs> I've seen you play and you run like a girl. And you've seen a few girls running in your time, haven't you? <laughs> Usually to go fetch a policeman. <laughs> Oh, and Luton have equalised against QPR. Uh, Thorpe, the scorer there. Oh! With, um, and a cry goes up from Billy Mack. Talk us through it, Billy. Right, it's another bad miss from the lad Simpson. He's on a really lean spell now, just the one goal in the last 12 games. Actually, so... I, th uh, if I, I think it's one in 13, yeah. Oh, sorry. Well, I've never had much call for maths. That's not what I've heard. Uh, yeah? Sorry, sorry, uh, I thought you said maths. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Stamford Bridge. And then uh, Luton hit the post with a, a great effort from Thorpe, but then almost immediately QPR broke away and uh, very nearly scored through Gallant. So, uh, action at both ends here. Action at both ends. Sounds like Billy McNabb the morning after. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, still nil-nil at uh, Villa Park. And the crowd really seems to be getting on Villa's back, don't they, Billy? Uh, that's right, Dave. Uh, the fans are really not happy and they're letting the players know. There's a lot of booing from all corners of the ground, especially when the youngster Simpson gets the ball. They seem to be singling him out. It's not nice to see, is it? I mean, how does a young player handle being barracked like that? You know? Well, it's not easy, uh, particularly once the boo boys have picked you out as a scapegoat. You know, it really destroys your confidence. And in your long and distinguished career, has that ever happened to you? You know, uh, a situation where you found you were being affected by the boos? <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Well, I guess I'm a drunk, a pathetic, pitiful drunk, all right. And many's the time when I've woken up in a gutter somewhere with my clothes kicked and shut and piss <laughs> and vomit. But believe you me, your mockery could never equal my own self-disgust. <laughs> but we've all got our secrets, haven't we? A dark, rotting core inside us. You beat your wife. You're hooked on drugs. Oh, sorry, painkillers. <laughs> and you're nubbing that lassie off the nature programme while your <laughs> poor wife's away in Northampton with the cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so, with uh, ten minutes to go, looks like Villa <laughs> may have to settle for a draw. Let's go over to Stamford Bridge. 